Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a thick smoke in Cinema 4D. So this is the final example of uh, what we're going to be creating. Okay, let's get started. First of all, I want to say I'm not a native English, so if you find me, if you find my mistake, uh, please forgive me. Okay. So I'm going to use a uh, Turbo NFT plugin from JawSet. Okay. Uh, you know, first of all, let's create a new scene, file new, and then uh, let's create a sphere. The sphere will be be our emitter. And just decrease the scale like that, and then let's add the Turbo NFT container. Go to Turbo NFT, Turbo NFT container, and go to container and change the grid size. And for the X scale, we change, we change this to uh, increase the the value to uh, two hundred, like so, and then zoom in and then decrease the scale of the sphere and place this right here okay like this I'll make sure and then Let's add a uh, Turbo NFT emitter for the, for the sphere. Right click Turbo NFT text, Turbo NFT emitter, and then go to the temperature value. Uh, we we set this value to uh, two and density to three, like this. And then go to Turbo NFT container. This is the most important part of this tutorial. The simulation. And then container, and let's decide where the simulation test, uh, the, the directory of the simulation test. So go to pros. Uh, I have uh, my folder here already. And then uh, and then we change the voxel size uh, to zero point five. The detail will be uh, really high detail will be uh, <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. So we got the simulation, and then uh, simulation. Go to timing and decrease the time scale to eighty uh, percent, and then go to the wind. And we change this value, and then we change the wind direction uh, for the X. We change this to seven, and this will be negative two. And wind speed will be uh, eighty, and the force of uh, vorticity. Uh, Three, we set this value to three, and then go to turbulence intensity. Uh, this value will be really high, really big. Uh, we change this to uh, like this, <laughs> and then go to intensity intensity channel. Uh, this intensity will be density, and. The temperature looks great, and then go to uh, density. We check this density. Uh, you know, turbulent density half life. We change this to uh, like this. Just follow my 
my tutorial here, my video, and then temperature checked, and then oh yeah, go to the turbulence. We need to change the small size to one, and the largest size to five, and the period will be five ten. And go to viewport preview, and we change this to density. And rendering, uh, go to smix shader, and we change this to density, and the interpolation to sharp. So the fire will look will you know the fire will look really sharp. And then the thickness uh, increase this value to uh, like this. Huh. Then go to fire shader, uh, fire shader, uh, white point, that's what point, white point to 1.5, and the damping 6. And I think this good to go and other checks turbulence okay just under uh, just uh, simulate uh, this animation sphere and make sure everything's good to go and uh, you know Let's hit the start button and let's see what happened. As you can see, it starts creating a uh, simulation there. Uh, it will take a really long time because my computer is not, uh, it's really bad, it's a uh, low end PC. <laughs> Please don't hit me if you, if you want. And I just wait and see. Let's see what happen. And and I will post this. Okay, done. So as you can see here, we've got a really cool looking smoke. And then. Uh, you know, just to create a new light and replace this light. And duplicate this light and change uh, the color of the second light uh, and, and decrease intensity. You know, warm color, like so. And just create a new camera. And you know, like this. And with some body type and protection. And just render this. And there are two picture viewer. It will take a really long time to render. So as you can see, we've got uh, we start uh, getting the really cool smoke there. And of course, you can add the shadow from the light, the shadow and heart, and you can uh, change smoke color maybe a little bit darker there okay and hit render this may look different than before in previous uh, render because the smoke uh, a little bit darker you know I'll pause this thing Alright, the rendering is done. So as you can see here, we've got a really cool looking smoke. And this all tutorial from me. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope uh, you can get new idea from my tutorial. And uh, please subscribe my channel and share this video if 
uh, if you like this video you know uh, thanks for watching and goodbye